is Prince Handley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure healing love. I want to talk to you today about healing from anger. Anger can result in depression, in anxiety, or in other illnesses. And it can work itself out in motivating pornography use, divorce, or even church, synagogue, or workplace dissension. At the least, anger can cause us to say something or do something that might hurt another person or a group of people. Unforgiveness, if not dealt with, can produce anger. However, lots of things can cause anger. Even seemingly small things like being overlooked in the decision-making process at home, at the office, or in a group setting such as a synagogue or church, especially when one is not consulted in a decision or action relating to them. Many times a person will do or say subtle little things to irritate someone with whom they are angry. All of us get angry at times. We are human and we have a full spectrum of emotions, so when we are offended, we become angry. However, anger that is not resolved, just like any other emotional problem, can result in serious illness, spiritual, physical, or mental illness. The Holy Bible tells us, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. This scriptural admonition shows that anger is a part of the human psyche, but that it must be dealt with, and that stated, no longer than by the end of the day. My father used to tell us, don't go to bed mad. When we do not deal with anger properly, we allow a wall to be built up, and each successive hour or day, the wall gets wider and taller and stronger. It actually becomes a stronghold of the enemy, and quite probably, this is why the situations that caused the anger were designed in the pit of hell itself by none other than Satan, the enemy of your soul. Satan hates you, so he utilizes people and demons to hurt you, spiritually, mentally, or physically. And if he can make you angry in the process, he will then have a cycle of destruction established. If you are not successful in breaking this cycle, then it will become self-propagating. This is why you need to resolve the issue of anger. Usually, the issue of anger can be resolved in the following ways. Number one, forgiving the offender. Number two, settling the differences. Number three, practicing or learning self-control. Sometimes it's not always possible to settle differences, especially if you have not done anything wrong. However, you can always forgive and let God settle the matter. The scripture tells us forgiving others as God for Messiah's sake has forgiven you. Of all the things throughout our whole lifetime that the Lord has forgiven us, surely we can forgive someone else for the one thing or the few things they've done to us. If an attempt to settle differences is going to exacerbate or worsen the situation, then leave it in God's hands. Place the other party, the offender, into God's hands. The Bible tells us, Avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To give place unto wrath, then, is to leave it for God to come in and execute wrath or vengeance upon the enemy or upon the offender. Do not execute wrath yourself. Leave it to God. Commit all to Him. Leave yourself and your enemy in God's hands, assured that God will vindicate you, and punish your enemy. By the way, I have seen this happen many times in my life. Never be afraid to confront when you have prayed into the situation and never lose your temper or lose your anger. The Bible tells us, let everyone be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. For the anger of man does not forward the righteous purpose of God. My friend, learn to maintain self-control. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind or self-control. Remember, the devil, Satan, hates you, but Messiah Yeshua loves you. The Bible tells us the thief, the devil, comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Yeshua, the good shepherd, comes that you might have life and have it more abundantly. I trust this teaching will help you, my friend. This has been your friend. Prince Handley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure healing love. Baruch haba b'shem Adonai.